Hey everyone, welcome to Heart for Art. My name is Layla. Believe it or not, fall is right around the corner and I am itching to decorate my home with the warm fall colors that I absolutely love. Today I'm going to show you guys how to DIY two pumpkins. Uh, two of them are ceramic, one of them is um, wood, wood sign. So if that's what you are looking for, then you have hit the right spot. Go ahead and buckle down and I'm going to get ready with the DIYs. Let's go. So here I have a pumpkin, um, I'm not sure if it is from Dollar Tree, but I'm not sure what the material is, if it's a clay, ceramic, I'm very bad with my materials. But it had cascading leaves coming down on one side, so I decided to paint it with warm colors, awful traditional colors right here. The greens, the reds, the yellows, the oranges. Um, the stem I will be doing it brown, just it's an acrylic regular brown color, nothing fancy. And I will be blending it in with the orange color. Now the orange I used is by Waverly. And I get it from Walmart. It's the color pumpkin. Isn't that fitting? But this is a very pretty orange. I absolutely love this orange for fall. Uh, and I just paint the entire thing uh, in orange. Here I am actually going with a detailed brush because the ed the between the leaves where the pumpkin is showing, it's very tiny for my regular big brush to go, so I go in with a detailed brush. This is where I'm actually blending the top to for to kind of give it a little bit of a realistic look because you guys will see at the end what I do which makes it look really really pretty but this blending technique was really good I just took the orange and the browns and I kept blending it till they kind of met together um, and gave it a realistic look as you can tell right there it's just very very pretty here I am going, I let it dry completely, so it's thoroughly dried. I let it sit for about a couple of hours. And then I'm taking a dark wax that I got from Home Depot. I don't remember the color. I think it's called Antique Dark, Dark Antique. Uh, and I just coat the whole thing. I don't let it sit for too long because I don't want the color to be too saturated. So I just dab it on, wait for 20 seconds, 30 seconds, and then I wipe it off with a cloth. And... You can look at the end photos when I do the final reveal at the end. It is so pretty. Um, these things at Hobby Lobby will sell for a very expensive price. And you can just make it for a couple bucks. I just bought that for a dollar. Well, now it's a dollar twenty-five, but I bought it for a dollar. And that concludes the DIY. There were two of them. One I did all green and one I did colorful. In idea number two, I have these two plaques that I got from Dollar Tree last year. My Dollar Trees have nothing out this year, so I'm not even sure if they have them, but I'm pretty sure they might carry something similar. Uh, and I just removed the centerpieces, as you saw, with my heat tool and my paint scraper, wiped it, sanded it down, wiped it all out, and I'm ready to paint again with this green color. I am obsessed with this color. I told you guys in my, for my Christmas DIYs that this color is coming back for fall, and here it is in all its glory. I just absolutely love this color. I don't know. Uh, anyways, I painted the front and the back. I painted the stem again with that acrylic brown paint. And I just flipped my paintbrush and I am scraping it to create a texture. And you guys will see in a couple seconds the texture. Uh, and I just blend the colors back and forth to again give it a realistic look. Um, and I'm just scraping and painting. And look at the effect. It is so pretty it's so realistic anyways i bring back my raised plaques and i purchased these napkins uh, i just decided to decoupage the napkins i love them they are so pretty uh, i got them from home goods and they came in a pack like this but you guys can use anything they are dollar tree napkins there's scrapbooking paper um there's rice paper out there a ton of things you guys can use so I just trace it out before I peel the plies out. I just trace it out to see which one I want. And um, I cut them out, obviously, but a little bit larger because I like a hangover on my uh, decoupage projects. And I just pull the plies back. I add some decoupage on it, and I just 
paste it down. Uh, now the trick for me not to create a lot of wrinkles is less decoupage, kind of like on a glue effect. And then on, when I go on the top, basically, right, you see me right here. I'm just putting some very little decoupage. When I go on top, I'm slathering it on and smoothing it out. And it is very smooth. To get clean edges, I basically take the sandpaper and I go downward motion and I take all the extra hangover off and it gives a clean finish effect. I don't have to use razors, I don't have to use anything. That's, well, that's all I do. And here I'm kind of painting the edges, which is, you guys don't have to do it if you repeat that. If you guys decide to do this project, don't paint the edges because what I do in the end will cover it all up anyways. Um, I'm just darkening everything again with that antique dark wax just to give it a you know vintage kind of look um, and to mute down the colors a little bit and I'm going to reattach them with my Fabri-Tac and this yeah that's what I'm doing I'm reattaching them with my Fabri-Tac I don't know why I had to think about that for a second but yeah it's been a long week guys it's been a long week uh, I let that sit for a couple of hours till it's all dried and settled. And then here I go with the acrylic brown paint. Uh, once again, do not repeat this step. This was all trial and error for me. Um, what I ended up really doing to get the colors out is mixing a little bit of black, a little bit of brown, kind of created, creating a darker, uh, almost like a dark brown color. And that's what I did for the edges. I just felt this was a little too light. I wanted a deeper color. So that's what I was doing. Guys, when I'm crafting, my camera is just rolling. I'm not paying attention to it. So you guys will see all the trials and errors because I try to leave everything in here. Um, but yeah, see like right here, I'm doing the dark wax. It didn't work either. So I decided right there to do the dark brown and black. And that's what brought out the whole effect. And then I'm going back with the green back and forth to lighten the middle to kind of give it like a 3D effect. And you'll see it looks really pretty at the end. And I kind of created the ridge on the bottom. Um, I'm showing you guys here, I'm doing the edges. But I created a ridge so it looks like a real pumpkin in the middle, like it has the little ridges, um, as you can tell. It looks like three things were put together but it's actually one pumpkin and one wooden pumpkin here i'm creating a um, messy bow whatever ribbons i have in my stash that's what i'm pulling out no rhyme or reason the mesh looks like it's from dollar tree um and the others i'm not sure where i got them from i've been collecting ribbons for a very long time so from my card making days so i don't remember where it's from and then I just add some leaves. I'm adding some pine cones, some pit berries, some um, cat balls. Was that what it's called? Cattail balls? I don't know what it's called. Anyways. This concludes my two pumpkin DIYs for this week. Uh, I have another video coming up on Monday, which you do not want to miss. It is very exciting, very cute, very oh scrumptious uh, DIY. I'll be posting that on Monday. Um, and I, you can see it a, a sneak peek on the final reveal of these pictures. I hope you enjoyed this DIYs and you feel inspired and ready to decorate for fall. I will see you in my next video. Take care and be blessed.